all the best, the number one on the world. Only you, huh? Come on, brother. Yes. You are the mayor of London. You. <laughs> Only you, huh? My main man, Salif. <sighs> so cold outside. It's actually warmer in the fridge than it is outside. It's so cold in London. It's like it's been as cold as minus four. Now, this is just a little update video with what's going on with the beef series. I'm not actually here at the moment, I'm in Naples. Well, no, I am right here right now, but when you see this, I'll be in Naples. Naples, man, it's gonna be warmer there, baby. Now, the reason I'm in Naples is because, well, it's my next series, and it's gonna be on one of the world's most loved and adored foods, lasagna. You see, let me explain. There are certain foods in the world, they're just loved. They're actually more like characters, people. We get to know them, we look forward to seeing them and eating them. And I call those foods cult foods. Burgers, lasagnas, ramen, bacon sandwich, fish and chips, sushi. You know what I'm talking about. Cult foods are the foods that just make you get excited. And well, lasagna, it's definitely in my top 10. Like, it's such a good dish. So, the next series that goes out this Saturday is gonna be all about lasagna. It's gonna be a three-part series where I go around Italy, I find out where the best lasagnas are, and then I come back here and I show you. But, back to the beef series. So, this coming Saturday is going to be the finale of the beef series. It's when I will take my roasting of beef, that's the loin and the rib cage, out. It will have been aged for about 40 days and I will show you how to butcher that down to get the ribeyes, the sirloin, the porterhouse and the fillet. It's going to be the culmination of almost two months worth of work. It's been shot over a period of three or four months. I've gone to three different countries, like it's the biggest thing I've ever done, right? And I'm going to put all that on a plate for two of my guides. That's Peter Hannon, who was in episode two, and for Richard Turner, who was in episode one, and I'm gonna put my beef in front of these two beef legends and see what they've got to say. I'm not nervous. I'm shitting it. It'll be fine. And when that's all done and dusted, I'm then going to make all the beef that I've got available to you guys to buy on my website. That's right. So the website's up and running. I've put all the products that I've made from all my different series that you guys have absolutely loved. So if you missed out on the bacon, you can get some bacon. If you were impressed with the 60 hour Hakata style tonkotsu style ramen, then you can get your hands on a litre of that stock. If you looked at the retired dairy cow film that I made, then you can get your hands on some retired dairy cow ribeyes, sirloins, or beef burgers. Now, if you want to get your hands on any of that produce, then just go over to foodbusker.com, click on the store button, and then pre-order what you want, and I'll start fulfilling that after next Saturday. I've teamed up with my farmer mate, Ben from Coon Farm, who's gonna help me fulfill all the food. Now, when you get the orders, because they're being fulfilled by Ben from Coon Farm, you'll get an alert saying, DPD, Coon Farm's coming at you. Maybe not the coming at you bit. But it's all my meat to my specifications done my way. And if this goes well and I have the same reaction that I had with the bacon, then I'm gonna keep it going so that you guys can always go and get some bacon or some ramen soup. But also as I make more food series, then I'll put those things on there as well for you guys. Food busker, it's like a food busker supermarket. It's more like an online shop, really. I love the Great British Postie, especially in this time of year, working hard for us. But for some reason, getting certain packs of bacon out to certain places, it was a bit of a nightmare and the failure rate was too high. So, this time we're gonna work with a courier, DPD, and what I've done is, is I've gone and spent a load of money on some really cool packaging and I've tried to be as eco-friendly as possible. So, I've got this state-of-the-art, reusable, recycled lamb's wool insulation. I'm gonna wear this later. It's a scarf. It's like a belt. What's great about this insulation is it will keep everything super cold so that the pack is nice and safe. It's pretty professional, really. I'm surprised myself. 
So, doing a quality job is actually really important, especially when you're delivering food to your homes. You know, making sure that it's safe, done properly, that it's fully legal, well, that was top of the list. And so I've made sure that I'm doing that now. It's not cheap, the postage and packaging, because we're doing such a quality job. But we found that by doing it the old way through the post with the bacon, well, that didn't work. Too many of you didn't get your bacon. And so at least this way, we know that it's gonna turn up in mint condition. It's gonna be an absolute quality job and you've got peace of mind. Now, I haven't set a minimum order, so if you just wanna buy a pack of bacon, then you can, but what I would suggest is that you get some tonkotsu ramen stock, you get some bacon, and you get a couple of steaks, so you can have three or four meals. You know, essentially what I've set up is a food busker food box, so that you can get your hands on the best stuff, and we think this is the best way to do it. Right, so, I better get off to Naples, come on. Oh mate, I can't wait for some warmer weather. Now, brothers and sisters, one final thing. I know a lot of you guys aren't based in the UK. You're in the States or Canada or Germany or around the world, and you obviously feel like you're missing out on the fact that I'm doing this beef series and I can only ship to the UK. Never fear, my brothers and sisters, I have got your back and I'm on the case. So I've got a number of series that I'm gonna create this year in the spring just for you guys that I'm gonna be able to ship globally. But I'd be really interested to hear what you would like me to do. Is there one particular food type, another cult food that you want me to do? Let me know in the comment box below. And guys, subscribe to the channel. You know, it really helps with everything that we're trying to do here at Food Busker. Right, crease the peace, spread the love, and let's go and get warm, because I'm freaking freezing here.